right, guys, so here we go. I, I really broke this down to really simplified. Obviously, we all have a million more tools. You're going to get tool storage. You're going to have stuff all over the place because buying tools can get addicting. But this is the bare bones stuff, guys, that I'm going to say we'll get this done. So we'll start over here. We'll just go through it quick. Uh, you need a set of gauges, obviously. Analogs are fine. Don't listen to everyone that says you need digitals. Learn how to use these and read them. Digital, digital is awesome, guys. They really are, but they're so expensive. And starting out, you may not have the money for something like this. If you do, go for it. But even if you do, you still need you still need analogs. All right, trust me on that. You can do this job just fine with analogs. Um, here's just a pair of um, sheet metal snips. This is my only pair left. I've had a few others. They broke, but... Those are fine for now. It's, I don't really do any stuff with sheet metal. I barely ever even use those things. Um, these are just a pair of multipliers with wire strippers. These are the Kleins. These are awesome. These are probably one of my most favorite tools, guys. I got these, I don't know, a year, year and a half ago, and I use them all the time. It's got a real nice wire crimper in there. You know, you got your cutters in there, too. It's a pair of pliers at the end, just, you know, like linesmen's, basically. And your wire strippers. If not, just another set of wire strippers, you know. But I, I really like these Kleins. I'm a real big Klein fan. Um, adjustable wrenches you're going to need. Um, I just have a couple of various sizes here. I got a 12-inch, 8-inch, and 6-inch. Um, really, I'm going to say the 8-inch is probably the most common used. But you, you will see that you'll need different sizes eventually. Service wrench, of course, guys. One of the most essential tools you'll ever need. Um, you need the... Some of them, they'll come with a little adapter, too, so you can do the, um, like, the service ports, the little residential units, things like that, um, with the Allen key. Instead of using the Allens, you put the piece in here. It works much better. Tubing cutters, guys. This is one of my bigger ones. Um, these are both the rigid ones. Rigid makes really good tools, guys, um, for stuff like this. I think I got these at Home Depot, and I probably had these 15 years, guys. I've never broke, never failed. Uh, I'm, real, I'm a real big fan of the rigid cutters. It's probably the only cutters I'll buy. A uh, pair of channel locks. These are the Knifex brand. But you can get channel lock brand, Husky brand. There's plenty of different brands out there, guys. I just happen to be a big fan of these. Um, you're going to need some type of 6-in-1, 8-in-1, 11-in-1. This is the Klein HVAC 8-in-1. You know, you want something that does 5 16 quarter-inch screws with flathead and Phillips. And this does 3 8 screws as well. Um, if not, you got a 3 8 nut driver here. I have all these individually, too, not in the 6 and one you know. You... Those sizes, quarter-inch, 5 16 and 3 8 are the most common we're going to run into uh, doing service. You want a little screwdriver like this for your thermostats or controls. This is the Klein one. Uh, top actually broke off it, but this has four different sizes, but you really only need one little flathead and one little Phillips. Very good for controls and things. Here's your pair of basic linesmen's, linesman pliers with your cutters. That's it, more Kleins. God, I've had these a million years too. Said, very big Klein fan. This is the Channel Lock brand, and the reason I have these is for the crimper. If you see right there, that crimper right there is really good. It's, I like these for crimping on stake-ons, wire connectors, butt connectors, things like that. That's why I have those. I got another pair of salt wire ones over there too, but I'm... Um, these are the old tried and true. I've had these forever. Then just a pair of, you know, wire cutters, dykes, whatever you want to call them. Work great. These are the Klein ones as well. You want an old flathead screwdriver for something, a bigger one. An old beater, we call them, because we all know that we don't use flatheads to actually turn screws. <laughs> we use them for pry bars, chisels, and everything else. Phillips screwdriver. You know, it will come in your six and one, but it's good to have separate ones too. I got a ton of various different sizes of flathead and Phillips. You can get these Husky brands, guys. You can get a set of like 15 of these for like 20 bucks or something. And they're real good. I actually like the grip on these. They're really good and they kind of have like a stickiness to them too. They're, I think they're great screwdrivers, especially for the price. Um, then Klein, of course, just flathead. A meter. Obviously, you're going to need a meter. One of the most essential things you'll need. You don't need the most expensive meter. You just want one that reads voltages and amps to start out. You don't have to get a $300 meter, you know. Any type of flashlight. I got my Nebos here. I got Milwaukee lights. I got my headlamp there. Um, any any type of flashlight doesn't matter. You know, eventually, like you'll see, you'll 
start getting addicted to tools and you'll have doubles, triples, quadruples of all kinds of different things. And I know I do. Um, here's a set of Allen wrenches, Allen keys. Um, this is the Klein one. I just got this thing a few months ago. Very cool. Uh, but I mean, I got another bag in my boxes there of like a million other Allen wrench sets I've had from over the years. You want some type of impact gun or drill? This is the uh, Milwaukee 12 volt. I think this is the Gen 2 one. I've given this thing a beating over the last few years and it, it still keeps going. It's awesome. I'm, I'm a big fan of Milwaukee um, and especially the 12 volt stuff. You know, you're going to need a drill. I also have a 12 volt drill that goes with this, but here's an 18 volt drill here. You know, here's an 18 volt impact. Um, for service, the stuff we're doing, you don't have to have the 18 volt stuff, guys. 12 volts, I feel. Um, we'll do it fine, but when you get into bigger stuff, or installs, things like that, you're going to want to, you want 18 volt stuff too. And a lot of this stuff you get in sets like this and, you know, this drill and this impact came in a set, you know, as long as my 12 volt did too. I got the drill in my box over there. Like I said, tool storage you'll need. But this is really the bare bones essentials, guys. This is, this is going to get you through 90% of service calls. You know, I'm going on a service end of things, not installation. This is for service, but this will get it done. I mean, you're going to need torches and stuff too. Um, I have my own and a company supplied one. Hopefully most companies would supply that. I know any company I've worked for has, you know, but I also got my own. And that's basically it, you know. And then this is probably one of the most other essential things. You got your nice cold beer on the weekend. That's what you need, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's another HVAC refrigeration guy essential. You know how that goes. So that's it, boys. All right. Hope you enjoyed. So, yeah, that's it, guys. I mean, I probably missed some stuff. Um, anyone, put in the comments what you might think you need. Um, everyone is different. Everyone has their own way of going about things. But for me, this is, this is your basic stuff here that'll get it done. You know? So to each his own. You know what I mean? I'm sure I probably forgot something, but... Like I said, this will get it done. Um, you know, I know I haven't posted a video in a little while. I know I say this to you guys a lot. I'm not able to do, um, you know, do this stuff as regular as some of the other guys or the bigger guys on here. I just do what I can and hopefully helping some people out. Um, like I said, I always appreciate you guys for being with me. I know I always say that too, but, you know, it's great helping some people out and be able to be involved with a community like this, the HVAC community. It's a real great community, so. Appreciate it, guys. Be safe. Um, summer's come to an end here. It's kind of winding down. It's like 60 degrees out today. Just a beautiful day, relaxing on a Sunday afternoon. You know, out in the yard, doing some stuff with the, with the truck here, straightening out some tools. So um, consider subscribing, guys, if you're new. Um, we're getting there. You know, we're almost at 7,500, which I can't even believe. I really appreciate it, guys. So I don't know. Other than that, stay well, guys. Stay safe. We'll catch you boys in the next one.